Hey there, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another sweet SketchUp for Schools lesson. This is kind of a little pop quiz that lets you prove that you've got the skills that are going to be useful when you move on to the sweet ship that I give you in the lessons. So, let's get cracking. First things first is to launch the app, which you may have on your app button. If not, go to HL Mod Tech, and you can use this link to get to the G Suite and then launch it. For some reason, my district cannot get it to stick. Before we go too far, let's make sure you understand that in your Google Drive, you need to have created a folder called SketchUp just by clicking New Folder and then typing SketchUp. As you can see, I already have, so mine is good. Then, in SketchUp for Schools, before we do any work, we need to choose New, and we need to switch to the Millimeters template. This project is based on Millimeters, so you need to always make sure you're in the correct template. Click on that dude in the center, press Delete, and let's get rid of him. Click on the rectangle, and then remember, SketchUp is a click and release, so click that button and release. Move to what's called the Origin, that's the center of our project, and once again, click and release. Type the numbers 50 comma 50 and press enter and notice it is super tiny. Click on the zoom to extents and boom it zooms all the way in. Roll your scroll wheel back, click while the orbit tool is selected. If for some reason you lost your orbit tool, that's how you get it selected again. Also if you get off screen, you can use the hand to drag it left and right. With these tools covered, and the first shape covered, let's move to the push-pull tool. When you click push-pull, click and release, it'll be adjustable, and I want you to type 50, so we've got a beautiful cube. Now I need you to take the cube, and I need you to find the dimension tool. Click on one corner, notice it starts making dimensions, click on the second end point then stretch it out and when you click a third time so that was one two three clicks it proves it's 50 millimeters in that side if yours or your partner's has inches and feet in this spot this is when you tell them you have to click new and start all over i'm going to also set the dimension for the top one clicking and sliding i don't care which side you put it on but you're just proving that you made a 50 by 50 by 50. Right now I am orbiting by pushing in the scroll wheel on my mouse. It's a shortcut instead of doing this. Both are excellent, but once you get used to it, holding in the wheel and rotating is a powerful way to move around. The next tool I want you to play with is called the offset tool. Click on it, click and hold this top. This is the one time I have you click and hold. Once you let go, type the number 15 and press enter it snaps to that exact size 15 size. Switch to your push-pull tool, and I need you to get used to being able to find these three. Click that middle piece, and let's make it 30 high, so we've got an interesting pillar in our project. Let's quickly use the circle tool. Once again, we click and release. I want you to find what's called the midpoint. Notice how it turns cyan. If we come over here and find the combination of midpoints, I have touched both midpoints and the system guesses that that's what I'm aiming for. Stretch out your circle a little bit and then type the number five, which is the radius, and press enter. This creates a circle that is 10 in diameter. Let's do push-pull, but do it a different way. See this red tip? I want you to touch the corner of each of these rectangles but I want you to actually click on the last one because then when we orbit, you can look around and you have just cut through your shape. One more quick shape to play with. Find your polygon tool. Do the midpoint trick again for the midpoint of our large cube. When you've got both of those, click and then make sure when you draw this that that point is up on the blue axis. And then let's type the number 15 and press enter. So that means it's 15 on every side. Once again, we're going to do push-pull. And this time when we push-pull, we are taking that red tip. Notice how far away I move, and then I touch it to the corner of the shape to cut it out. If you scroll down 
and look through. I used the push in the wheel orbit. You can see we cut out an amazing shape. I'm going to do control Z to undo that though. And we're going to select the outside edge of that shape. When we come over to this tab and find the entity info, we can change its segments to a different number like five. Boom, it's an amazing pentagon. Let's use that orbit tool to get so we've got an angle because we want to push this through to this corner. Click on your push pull, make sure you're not holding the button and then go touch that corner. Let's select everything with the select tool and drawing a box that grabs it all. And then let's find the move tool. And when we click the corner of move, I want you to tap control, which puts you in copy mode. Move along the green axis and make a copy. With it all still selected, or if you mess up, reselect it again. And if you're straight on, it gives you a better shot of only grabbing the parts you want. I want you to find another sweet button called Scale. Scale gives you handles that you could adjust freehand. I want you to just start it moving, and I want you to type 0.5, which will scale it to half its original size. Let's reselect our little shape. Let's do that same move. This time I'm going to use the shortcut for move, which is the letter M. And while it's adjustable, I'm going to tap control. So I'm moving a copy. I'm going to just set it on the green axis right over here beside it. Once again, I'm going to go to my friend, the scale tool. This time I'm going to stretch it out away from me and I'm going to type four times as big and boom, I've got my project in size 50, size 25 and size 100. The last part of the project is rotation. Let's select the little one. If you go from the right to the left, all you have to do is touch the parts. Come over to your view button and we need to do a top view to do this easily. I'm going to scroll in and look at our shape and I want you to find the rotation tool. When you find the rotation tool, you need to pick a corner that you want to rotate on or a location. So I'm going to rotate on this corner and then it asks for a handle for where you're going to rotate from. If you get close to the shape, you can see it snaps to these little tick marks. If you go away from the shape, it goes one degree at a time. I'm going to just rotate it 90 degrees, switch back to my orbit tool and let's see how the project looks. I've got two with it aimed one way and I've got one aimed the other. We've learned about dimensions. We've learned about the different shapes. Push pull. We haven't done follow me. That's later. We've got move, rotate, and scale. We've got the dimension tool and all the ways to orbit. Last but not least, let's erase a couple lines just so you can see how easy it is to use the eraser. And don't forget, we've got undo and redo if you make a mistake. Let's save our project. I'm going to call this fun quiz because this is where you really get to do the fun stuff if you've actually solved it we click on the word sketchup once if you have to pick a different folder you may only click it once and then you can hit select and save your project if you're one of my students i do want a screenshot make sure you use nimbus do selected area and get enough of it so that i can see that you did some of your dimensions once you've got that, turn it into Google Classroom and you're good to go. If for some reason you don't have Nimbus, I'll have a link up in the corner for the little tutorial that shows you how to add Nimbus. Alrighty friends, so if you've got here, I believe that you're ready to go on to the cool ship shape lesson. If you want to play around a little bit, you can move over here to the materials section. There are so many that you can search through cool textures. Uh, I love playing with the different colors. I also love playing with things like glass and just making it so you can see through your shape, which is really kind of cool. That's all really extra though. The most important part were all those tools I showed you a minute ago. Just remember if you do make cool changes, you do have to click save because it does not save automatically. So friends, if you found this movie useful, please hit that like button. If you've got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.